Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's video is the part two review of the products from the Body Shops Advent Calendar, which I did the unboxing before last Christmas. I've done the part one review previously. Here's the link to the video. I've also added the link in the description section below and at the end of this video for your convenience, if you're interested. There is a particular product which I consider to be the best uh, out of the entire advent calendar. Please stick around to find out what it is. Let's save the best for last, shall we? Let's start with the lip butter. This is the mango scent. I also had the strawberry scent, but I finished it and um, forgot to keep the container to show you. But they're the same. Um, there's 10 mils in it and it costs for $9. I prefer the strawberry scent. I think this uh, mango scent is a bit too sweet for me. I don't love these lip butters because I don't think they're particularly moisturizing. And I don't like the fact that you have to dip your finger in the pot each time, especially if we're still in the middle of a pandemic. I also use the purple ointment that definitely works better for me and it's cheaper. But if you were to choose between the two, I'd say the strawberry was better because I found the mango was a bit too oily. The next is this um, Himalaya Charcoal Purifying Cleanser. It's got 125 mils in it and it costs $22. I had high hope for this cleanser, but I was quite disappointed with it. The cleansing effect is very average and it doesn't leave my skin feeling soft afterwards like the vitamin E cleanser, which I did the review in the part one video. This cleanser smells a bit like a men's cologne and the scent is very strong. I also find that this cleanser is quite strong on the skin, so I only use that a little bit at a time. My daughter used it once and it left a red dot on her face, so maybe don't use it if you have sensitive skin. Next is this uh, vitamin C energizing face mist. It's got 100 mils in it and it retails for $19. I use this mist as part of my um, skincare routine throughout the day to keep my face hydrated. But you probably can also use it as a makeup setting spray if you wear makeup often. This mist has a very strong uh, citrus smell. So I wouldn't buy it if you don't like the strong scent. It's supposed to refresh your skin and boost radiance. I find it refreshing because of the scent but I'm not sure it helps uh, with the dullness of the skin. At least I didn't see any drastic changes. But it is still refreshing and it's uh, easy to use throughout the day. And you just uh, spray it on and it helps uh, with the skin hydration. Next I have here is this um, Himalayan Charcoal Purifying Glow Mask. It's got 75 mils in it and then retails for $35. This clay mask is infused with uh, bamboo charcoal, green tea leaves and organic tea tree oil. It's supposed to draw out the impurity and refine the appearance of pores. I love this mask, no wonder so many people rave about it. Um, I just uh, leave it on for a few minutes, then just wash it off. When it was on, it tingles on my skin and even stung a little bit. But when I wash it off, my skin looked much more even toned and it definitely had a glowing effect. If you're worried about the tingling or stinging sensation, maybe just put on a very thin layer to start with and see how you go. I use this um, face mask brush, which also came from the admin calendar to apply the mask. And I have to say that this mask is really great. It's made of wood and feels very luxurious. The bristles are both very soft on my skin and firm enough um, for me to apply the mask properly. So if you're looking for a brush to put the mask on, I highly recommend this one. I also have this um, Nicaraguan Coffee Intense Awakening Mask. 
The regular size is uh, 75 mils, which retails for $35. This is a small size of 50 mils and costs $9. Not surprisingly, this mask smells just like coffee. It's very sticky and gooey. It contains a small grains of coffee for exfoliating the skin. Although it's a, a small size, I think you can get quite a few uh, applications out of it. Uh, for me, about probably 8 to 10. It depends on how much you use it each time. I can see the brightening effect and my skin feels very fresh after using it. And I found the effect is quite similar to this um, Himalayan charcoal mask. And both of these masks exfoliate, so you probably don't need both. Here comes my favorite of the whole lot. The Drops of Youth Concentrate. This is uh, 30 mils uh, for $49. You can also get the 50 mils for $69. This serum is my favorite from the entire advent calendar. In fact, I think it's the best product I ever used from the body shop, period. One of the main ingredients in this serum is the magic flower called Edelweiss. I first heard of the Edelweiss flower from one of my favorite movies of all time, The Sound of Music, in this famous song. Edelweiss, Edelweiss. The flower is a national symbol in Austria and Switzerland. It grows in the Alps and is associated with the strength and toughness because of its magic power to protect and repair itself. On every Edelweiss petal, there are thousands of air bubbles, which help to protect the flower from burning in the sun and freezing in the cold. It is also rich in antioxidants. With these protective properties of the magic flower Edelweiss, in this drops of youth concentrate provides us with an enhanced resistance to the environmental insults. This lightweight serum works exactly like what it claims on the Body Shop's website. It gives me the fresh face and healthy looking glow. The gel-like texture is very lightweight and absorbs it to the skin literally in no time at all, leaving my skin feeling refreshed and uh, replenished with moisture. It is also made with 99% of natural ingredients, which I love. I use it as a serum after cleansing. Um, three drops is all I need for the entire face. I then pop the day cream on top for the morning routine and the night cream for the evening routine to lock in the moisture. I have been using it for the last couple of months and it has become one of my all time favorite. There you go. That's the end of today's video. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thanks for watching.